Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka, Kodash. Then I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth. Then I would like to send my salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth doing the work in this last days and those who are sincerely seeking the truth shalom i just want to go into the quick into a quick lesson on the season that we, we are actually into right now which is a season of um of craziness a season of total ignorance a season of death okay so i don't call it christmas i call it christmas okay so here is wikipedia and if you go into the word Yul, I just wanted to point out something real quick from here. So you see it's written a religious festival observed during the winter season. Okay. So if you come down, you read Yul, Yul or Yuletide. Yul time or Yul season is a festival historically observed by the Germanic people and Norse religions. Scholars have connected the original celebration of you to the wild hunt, to the god Odin, and the pagan Anglo-Saxon Modranith. Okay? So if you go down, later departing from its pagan roots, Yul underwent Christianized reformulation, resulting in the term Christmas tide. Okay? Some present-day Christmas customs and traditions such, such as the Yule log, Yule goat, Yule boar, Yule singing, and others may have connected may have connection to the older um, pagan Yule traditions. Terms with an etymological equivalent to Yule are still used in Nordic countries, Estonia, to describe Christmas and other festivals occurring during the winter holiday season today yule is celebrated in heathenry and other forms of neo-paganism as well as lavenia satanism okay lavian satanism okay so as you can see what happened is this is a season in the in the old times okay where all these pagan nations they, they sacrifice to different gods you know they do human sacrifices and different stuffs if you you really need to go deeper into this um to the history you know then it takes you also to um the week and different sort of madness you know so you see they now changed it they 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 changed it to to a christianized thing and they call it christmas you know so we all know that this season is not the season where our Lord Yahweh Shai was born, okay? Because um, the Lord Yahweh Shai was not born during the winter season. Uh, as we knew, the shepherds were out there doing their thing. You know, the shepherds wouldn't be out there in winter doing their thing during the winter season because the, the, the winter in that region is cold, okay? And Yahweh Shai wouldn't be born in a manger. And with, you, you can easily tell if you go through the scriptures and you read well, you make a deeper research, you will see that Yahweh Shai was born during the, the time of Passover, okay? That's the reason why um, Joseph and Mary, they didn't find space in the inn because it was all occupied. They had all the strangers coming out from different places to Jerusalem to, um, to observe the Passover. So they had no space, so they had to give back to Yahweh Shai in the manger, okay? All this to fulfill the prophecy of the prophet Isaiah. Okay, so as I was saying, we know that this season has nothing to do with Yahweh Shai. This is all, you know, Levian Satanism, you see. So you see, the reason why I'm doing this is, and if you go deep into all this, you know, the God of Dean, you know, these are these are these are these are demon gods, you know. That's the god with with an eye, you know. So <laughs> if you have time, you know, you can go through all this history yourself. But you see, this is just total madness and it's pagan, it's 
satanic, very, very satanic. And this is one thing about, about Israel ever since after the death of King Solomon, you know, when his son, I think, um, Rehoboam, you know, took, took over, you know, sin started like spreading all over, you know, they started sacrificing to idols and doing the same pagan traditions that other, other hidden countries around them were doing. And what happened was, you know, from time after time, you know, each king that comes over, they will just continue. Only a few one were worship the most high. But when they worship the most high, they didn't take down these high places of all these pagan deities, you know. So Israel is blind, just like the book of um Isaiah. Um Book of Isaiah chapter one verse three, it says the ox knoweth its own his owner, and he has his master scrip, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider, you know, Israel Israel is blind. We just go after other people's religion. We go after other people's other people's abomination, you know. In the churches, you know, they have all these trees and all these stuffs. You know, they say Jesus is born today and all this madness, you know, people preparing stuff. Even part of my family, we have people who are celebrating this madness. I try to tell them, but they wouldn't listen. So, you know, everyone for himself, you know. So this is total madness, you know. You really need the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, to walk in you, to wake up, wake you up out of all this madness, you know. This is total madness. Now let's read from the book of um is it Jeremiah? Oh uh, see Gen Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter ten and I'll start from verse one. Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Yasharala. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, learn not the ways of the hidden. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the hell, for the heathens are dismayed at them. Okay, now this is the season, the winter season. You know they're dismayed as at these signs, and they do all sort of different sacrifices. You know, like some few days ago, they have um the two planets. You know, um getting in line with with themselves. That's um the Saturn and and um and and Venus. I think, you know. And all these are names of pagan deities, you know. They have nothing to do with the real names of this planet, you know. So, these people, they just come up with different madness, you know. Different madness, pardon me, you know. And all Israel, we follow after their madness, you know. We don't seek the truth out for ourselves. We don't go through nothing. We just do after their madness. Now, let's keep reading. For the customs of the people are vain, for one cut a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workman with the axe, they deck it with silver, with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. Okay. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must need be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. And is this not the Christmas tree that these people all go mad, go crazy for? Is it not what it's talking about here? You know, they take the Christmas trees, you know, they cut them out. If you have the money to buy the original pine tree, you know, they cut the pine tree out or they make them out of plastic or whatever materials. They deck them with those bowls and lights and everything. Is it not what it's saying here? You know? Israel is so ignorant that they go after all these hidden abominations, you know. I used to um, I used to attend churches before and those time I was attending the church, this period they'll put a Christmas tree in the church and they start doing all sorts of madness, you know, dramas here and stupid craziness, you know. So Israel, you all need to wake up because if you partake in this season with them, you know, you're partaking of their abomination. You just one with them, okay? As for myself, I I am with my most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All by myself, I already told people not to tell me to wish me any damn any damn seasons greeting. 
those that I know that they will do all these stuff that purposely blocked many people out, you know, I just don't want to partake out of this madness, you know, so, yeah, you can, I can still go really deep into this, you know, we have lots of um different Bibles, Bible verses that are speaking about, you know, the most are informing us not to, you know, fall into this idol, idolatry that this other, other nations are into, like, for example, if we read from the book of Exodus chapter 4. Um, no, it's Exodus chapter 20. Verse 4, which says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in, in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquities of the Father upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. You know, and this here right here is talking about reincarnation. But the point is, you know, our power, Yahweh, is a jealous power, you know. We don't have to do things that's going to get him jealous, like, you know, um you know, bowing ourselves to all these images, you know, and partaking of all these abominations that they're doing, okay? So, yeah, Sharala, time is, time is almost here that we begin out of this, you know, messed up kingdom, this dumped kingdom, you know? The time is close, so, you know, get yourself, get yourselves ready, you know? Be, be be sincere with yourself as the apostle gaba always say you know it all starts from being sincere with yourself then you know the rest is going to follow you know so i hope you all was edified by this short lesson and i'd like to leave all these things in the sacred name of yahweh bahashem yahweh shai and my double honors to the apostles and elders for having taught me this truth peace and salutation to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth shalom